so this box is made in China. Here's what you get. You get your you get your box and you get a base plate. It's supposedly um, specific to the Himalayan but I'm sure that it's universal. That's a universal plate. It's made of steel. Pretty heavy but I guess it's got to be steel uh, so it doesn't crack or something like that. You get these um, fittings here. Alright, they're cast. Um, not sure what they are made out of. They're, this looks like they're stainless steel balls and I don't know. I don't know what this material is, the cast material. Could be steel, I guess, cast steel. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. Alright, so this base plate was well wrapped and it was inside the box here, along with um, two keys and a, c a couple of straps and these four fittings and the instructions. But if you, I don't know if you can make it out there, there's a ding in this box where that base plate was bouncing around and in, in transit, so that's a bit annoying. A little bit annoying because it's it's hit it's pushed the aluminum out slightly. Won't affect it at all. Uh, I know that, but um, just a little annoying. Alright, let's have a look inside the box. Alright, you've got four screws here and one big knurled screw. And I'll just show you how the base plate will fit onto the onto the box. So we're on the underside of the box here. Basically these fittings here, there's two that are aluminum and two that are plastic. And there's your locking device. Slot it over the holes and push down. And I'm going to turn that big screw and you'll see the locking device will come in there so that can't be taken off without getting into the box to unscrew that big knurled screw, which is there. Big knurled screw, just unscrew it. then you could take your box off your bike. Obviously this will be bolted to your rack. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that to some people that may have never seen one before. Right, let's get cracking and fit this thing on. All right, so the instructions are not brilliant, but um, once you figure it out, this is how you do it. You're actually raising the the plate above your rack. So you've got your two fittings here. So the one without the thread goes onto the top. And you can drop your bolts through it and then just screw it onto the bottom. Now this is fine for the two at the back, no problem, but the two at the front, let me show you. That's not going to fit, that's not going to fit, so what we have to do is drill two holes there and there so that these clamp onto your first rail and uh, should be good. Which is, this is the instructions, once you figure it out um, you can see that's where they say the drill points are. So not too bad, so we've got to do a bit of drilling but we can use the fitting as a, as a guide to where to drill the holes. So again this is what it looks like underneath. Alright, 
looks like we've got some holes to drill. Alright, so what I'm doing here is just putting a little dab of paint on the end of the threaded bolt. And what I'm going to do up the front end, that's why I've got to drill the holes. So I've got the top part of the clamp up there and I'm just going to slide the bolt up through the top part so it touches the base plate and that'll leave a little little dab of paint so I know where to drill because it's kind of awkward to um, get the right spot alright so let's mark the base plate pretty nicely probably can't see it very well but uh, at least that shows you how it uh, how it all goes together. Putting the paint on the end of the bolt worked good enough to get the positions. Bit of copper grease on, so you know you can always get them off when you need to later on down the road. I think that's it, that's on. So all I've got to do is screw in this big screw and that locks locks the box on. I'll just show you that from the underside. Alright, the pin will come through this hole here. If you can see it. There you go, I'm screwing that screw in the box and that's locked on so that shouldn't shouldn't come off. So this box, made in China obviously, but it matches really good with the original Royal Enfield panniers. I mean the, the finish, this sort of plastic edge that gives a waterproof lining, is, I mean to me it looks exactly the same. Looks exactly the same, these clasps here, the locks. The rivets, pretty identical. So it's a, re it's a really, it's a nice match. There you go. That's uh, check on the price in a, in a minute, but I think two hundred and twenty-five bucks. Um, the company um, Orion, they're in Texas, and it's 25 bucks shipping. All right, the, these are the people I got it from, Orion Power Sports. Now, right now, the 255 plus shipping. A few days ago, I paid 225 plus 25 shipping, and according to them, they're normally 400 bucks. And you've still got, I guess, just enough room here for a, a skinny chick on the back. <laughs> You're not going to get a heavy chick on the back. Not with someone like me riding up front. Oh, there you go. I mean, this is this is geared up for me going off camping and exploring and stuff. And I need the top box um, when I'm camping. Without the top box, I've got stuff slung at my um, bedroll and all that, slung across the seat, which stops me from opening up the panniers. So hopefully this will make life a little easier for me on the road, keep all my 
camera gear in here because obviously I make the videos. But, um, yeah, so I can access it all the time and keep it locked up safe, of course. That little thing is kind of annoying to me. You probably can't even see it on camera, but just my eye goes to it every single time. <laughs> time I look at it, I might pound on it with a rubber mallet or something. There, there is these straps that you can you can strap down from the base plate. You can strap it down onto one of your bars down here if you want to use that. Now I have seen on the internet um, bracing bars that go from here to your rack to help support the rack because apparently they're, they're pretty weak, you know, and with a box full of stuff it's sure to, you know, keep bouncing and bouncing, especially if I go off road. So I want to get these braces that, that um, support the rack. I haven't been able to locate any. If anyone's got a, got a link of anyone out there selling these supports, shoot me a line and let me know where I can get one from. Alright, just an interesting side note, or at least it's interesting to me because I'm into locks. Now these boxes are from Royal Enfield and here's the key and it's stamped on there 320 now that's the bitting on the key okay 320 now this box um, made in China came from Texas totally not related to <laughs> Royal Enfield there's the key 320 the bitting exactly exactly the same as the top box which is good in one way I only need one key one key to operate the three locks on my two top boxes on my two uh, panniers and the top box I only need one key that's great but <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that an awful lot of us out there have got the same key. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments as your, if yours is the same or not. I don't really care personally one way or the other because I know how easy these locks are to get into. But I, I might switch them out. I might stick on a tubular lock of some sort or or whatever, I don't know, I'll have a think about it or I may do nothing because I'm, I'm not that bothered, you know but um, just an interesting side note like I say, interesting to me just, uh, just so you know, I can fit my helmet in here real easy and it's a big helmet, it's a extra large helmet with a peak on it goes in that top box, no, no problem I think it's a 42 litre, something like that. 